So the statements are some tables are chair, no cupboard is table, some chairs are cupboards. So let's uh, draw the basic diagram for this one. Some tables are chair. So some tables are chair, right? Some tables are chair. Let me just start once again, right? So what are the statements here? Some tables are chair, no cupboard is table, some chairs are cupboards. So some tables are chair, first of all. Some tables are chair. No cupboard is table. No cupboard is table. No cupboard is table. So cupboards and tables should not touch each other. And some chairs are cupboards. Some chairs are cupboards. Okay, so chairs and cupboards have to overlap. So we'll have to redraw this diagram. What we can simply do is overlap chairs with cupboards, but ensure that cupboards do not touch tables. So cupboards. Yeah, that would be the basic diagram, right? Some tables are chair. Some tables are chair here, this overlapping. No cupboard is table, cupboards and tables do not touch each other and some chairs are cupboards, some chairs are cupboards. So you can see the overlapping from these shaded regions, right? Tables and chairs overlap, chairs and cupboards overlap, but tables and cupboards should not overlap. Now look at the conclusions, the first one, some chairs are no tables. So I guess this is some chairs are not tables, right? Some chairs are not tables, that's what it means. Some chairs are not tables, is it true? Some chairs are not tables. Well, if you look at just the first statement, some tables are chairs, you know that some tables are chairs can also be drawn in a way where tables and chairs both are equal. Yes or no? Usually we say that if this is the basic diagram, only for the first statement, if some tables are chairs is drawn this way, then we can say that a possible way of drawing some tables are chairs is tables and chairs both are equal. Yes or no? And if this is considered to be the possible diagram, then what happens? Some chairs are not tables will become false because here all the chairs are tables. If you take this as a possible diagram, all the chairs are tables and if all the chairs are tables, we cannot say some chairs are not tables. But in this case, this would be a correct conclusion. Are able to follow? If you simply look at statement one, some tables are chairs, then some chairs are not tables will be a wrong conclusion because all chairs can be tables. But in this particular case, this would be a correct conclusion. Why? See, there was another statement given to us. I mean, if you look at the other two statements, no cupboard is table and some chairs are cupboards. Now, the point is, always, any diagram that you draw, there are going to be some chairs which are cupboards. There are always going to be some chairs which are cupboards. And we very well know that cupboards cannot be tables. You say, no, cupboards and tables cannot overlap. If cupboards cannot be tables, these chairs which are cupboards cannot be tables. So, always there are going to be some chairs which are not tables. Are you able to follow? There are always going to be some chairs which are not tables. And hence, some chairs are not tables is a correct conclusion. This, in my view, is a very interesting uh, conclusion given to us, right? Usually, we would say some chairs are not tables is a wrong conclusion just by looking at statement one. But if you consider the overall diagram, some chairs are not tables would be correct because some chairs here are cupboards and cupboards cannot be tables. Hence, first one is true. Second one, all chairs are either tables or cupboards. This is wrong. From the basic diagram itself, you can say that this is wrong because he says all chairs are either tables or cupboards. Are all the chairs either tables or cupboards? No. Some chairs are tables, some chairs are cupboards. But see these remaining chairs, remaining chairs, which I am showing with this uh, lines here, are neither tables nor cupboards. So how can we say all chairs are either tables or cupboards? It is wrong. Third one, some chairs are table. Now, if some tables are chair, obviously some chairs are table. You need not even look at the diagram, right? You know that for some A's are B's, the definite conclusion is some B's are A's. So, if some tables are chair, then some chairs are table is definitely true, right? Some chairs are table is definitely true. And the last one, all chairs are table. Can all the chairs be table? It is not possible in this case anyway. All chairs are table is not possible. But overall, if you simply look at the basic diagram itself, all chairs are tables is wrong. All chairs are table is wrong because see, only some chairs are table. So this conclusion fails in the basic diagram itself. And hence all chairs are tables would be wrong. And, and obviously if you see uh, 1 and 4 are like converse of each other, right? Some chairs are not tables is correct. When you are saying some chairs are not tables is correct, obviously all chairs are tables would be wrong. Yes or no? If some chairs are not tables is correct, all chairs are tables would be wrong. Any one of these two can be correct, right? Yes or no? It's like a complementary pair, right? All A's are B's, some A's are not B's. So if some A's are not B's is correct, then definitely all A's are B's should be wrong. So that way also we can say that conclusion fully wrong. So your answer to this question should be only 1 and 3 follow. Alright, so all those who had marked only 3 follows, please check your answers again.
and I hope all of you have followed the explanation.